I do like it. Mm -mm. I don't. I'm lying. I don't. I don't like this one. Hi guys, I'm Adam Rippon, and I'm here to review celebrity rosés. And I'm gonna tell you if they're as glamorous as the celebrity endorsing them. Okay, love without, oh, love. This one is a pretty like dead giveaway because it says it's from the Legend Vineyard and it's a Legend Vineyard exclusive. So I'm gonna say, John Legend. John, you shouldn't have. A heavy bottomed bottle. Oh, there's some like diamond action. I'll get it. Okay, to us. Um, it smells alcoholic. I feel like I would get up with this. This is not the rosé I would just sit and just drink and have with friends. This is the rosé that's going to get me like day drunk. I'm gonna throw up at 3 p.m. I love it. I feel like I should finish it. <laughs> that's the stuff. John boy, you're gonna f me up. I'm gonna grade them all together so I don't really know like where this is gonna fall, but right now I'm gonna give this a four. <laughs> On to the second rosé. This one, again, dead giveaway, very more. Right off the bat, this is more like rosé-y colored. I have the palette of an untrained seven-year-old. I'm not qualified to like grade these, by the way. <laughs> Whoa, this one, uh. <laughs> Drew, holy sh I, I'm not being dramatic. Oh, I need to think about this for a second. I, mm. True. I'm gonna explain why my like guttural reaction is asphyxiation. It's because this is really sweet. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna be fair. Right now we're gonna go to, because this is a little bit sweeter than I was wanting. What do we do with, I can't finish this. Well, into the LA River. I'm really excited for this one because it's sparkling. Again, pretty easy. Give it all away on the label. I love that. I wanna know what I'm in for right off the bat. Who is this? None other than Christy Brinkley. It's made with organic grapes. That was a fun touch. I love this because she seems ready to drink her own sparkling rosé as well. And the only thing I have to say is, let's go. Ugh. I'm a little like, Heavy-handed. That's the only thing heavy about me. <sighs> Help me wash out, Drew. Mm. Christy, you fucking bitch. You nailed it. Mm. Oh, it tastes organic. This is like rich people stuff. I taste notes of G flat, middle C and fruit. Overall, good notes. So far, in the rosé competition today, Christy, uh. that's her fault. I'm at like five. On to the next. Diving into Hampton Water. H.W., who is this? Bon Jovi? What the hell is his government name? Howard Williams. Harry, mm, I can't go there. H.W., oh, Hampton Water. <laughs> They're acting like this is like a bottle of NyQuil. I can't even get in here. Ugh. I'm gonna tell you I'm concerned because Bon Jovi wouldn't sign off on this. Everyone else signed their own bottle. For me, red flag. Let's see if your music is as sweet as your rosé. Oh, f me. Bon Jovi? That is delish. Mm. Oh, you guys, I really would have this. This is a five. I'm at a five for Bon Jovi. Okay, I one, this bottle is really nice because it has that like, the butthole on the bottom, but on its own butthole, it has its name. 
This is supposed to be made in France? Made in Alabama. Willis, Birmingham is in France, bitch. They're lying. You some fancy butthole. You think you can tell me where you're from wherever? <laughs> Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, obviously. Oh, this does look like some Angelina Jolie thing. No. For my palette, I'm gonna say that the Miraval and the Barrymore are probably the sweetest. I'm not really into the sweet rosé. Barrymore is under Miraval. Okay. Christy Brinkley, though, she's in a category off-brand because of the burping and farting that goes along with it. Not her fault, but she should have thought that through. Brad and Angelina. I do like it. I don't. I'm lying. I don't. I don't like this one. Oh, I wanted to. It has like the labeled butthole and everything. It's too sweet, you guys. I'm gonna, I, I can't. I'm gonna say the Barrymore two. The Miraval three. The Christy Brinkley 3.5. The Legend four. The Bon Jovi five. I am curious though. Ugh. That wasn't a great idea. <laughs>